We all know that a healthy thyroid is essential for women. The thyroid is a gland located in the neck, which produces a set of hormones known as T3 and T4, responsible for many functions in the body. So when you experience sudden and prolonged weight gain, fatigue, depression, infertility, and slow metabolism, it is possible that your thyroid is malfunctioning, producing too much or too little hormones, which can lead to problems. But what is the most common type of thyroid problem and how can you solve them to regulate your thyroid? Well, don't go anywhere and keep watching. In this video, we're about to share the five most common thyroid problems and what you can do to reverse them. But before we dive in, can you do us a favor and like this video, ring the bell for future notifications and make sure you subscribed to the women's wellness. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get a free gift. And now let's get started by looking at common thyroid problems with number five, hypothyroidism. If your thyroid is underactive, it will be categorized as hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a condition in which the thyroid gland does not produce enough hormones. T3 thyroxine and T4 triodithyronine. In hypothyroidism, the body's metabolic rate slows down, which can trigger symptoms such as fatigue, weight gain, and depression. Hypothyroidism can be caused by a number of factors, including a malfunctioning immune system, iodine deficiency, or an autoimmune disease. There are many ways to reverse hypothyroidism, including lifestyle changes like diet and exercise, along with medication. The standard way to treat hypothyroidism is to take medication every day to replace the thyroid hormone. But of course, most medicines have side effects and forgetting to take a pill could make the side effects worse. Most people find that eating foods rich in iodine and selenium can be extremely beneficial in boosting nutrient levels and, as a result, reversing hypothyroidism. According to the National Institutes of Health, or NIH, selenium is a trace element that helps the body break down thyroid hormones. Selenium is found in many foods such as pork, beef, turkey, chicken, fish, shellfish, and eggs. A New Zealand study recorded that consuming iodine and selenium-rich food could limit mineral deficiency linked to hypothyroidism and improve overall thyroid function. But since everyone is different, it's always important to ask your doctor about how much selenium may be right for you. Next on our list is number four, hyperthyroidism. Known as the opposite thyroid reaction to hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism refers to an overactive thyroid gland that produces too much thyroid hormones, T3 and T4. Because of this overload of hormones, hyperthyroidism can cause symptoms such as anxiety, irritability, muscle weakness, weight loss, fast or irregular heartbeat, and diarrhea. Hyperthyroidism usually occurs as a result of diabetes or an autoimmune condition called Graves' disease. With Graves' disease, the immune system attacks the thyroid gland, which causes it to overproduce hormones in order to regulate. It's been recorded that about 2% of women have hyperthyroidism. So how can you reverse it? Well, the most common way to treat hyperthyroidism is with an anti-thyroid drug. These medications lower your hormone levels by blocking the production of T3 and T4, which results in less activity in your body's cells. Another way to deal with hyperthyroidism is to eat well, and before starting medical treatment for hyperthyroidism, your doctor might tell you to eat less iodine. According to the American Thyroid Association, you should stay away from chicken, beef, and grain products such as bread, pasta, and pastries, egg yolks, iodized salt on fish, milk, and in other foods, soy foods like tofu, soy milk, soy sauce, and soy beans. Research from 2006 suggests that soy can stop the thyroid from working properly. Even if it's not written on the package, iodine can also be found in herbal supplements. So when buying a supplement over the counter, keep in mind that it can still hurt your body. 
Always talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. Balance is very important when it comes to iodine, so find out if this type of treatment is right for you. It's best to consult a doctor. Number three, thyroiditis. Another thyroid problem you might encounter is thyroiditis. Thyroiditis is inflammation of the thyroid gland. It is often triggered by an autoimmune reaction or infection which attacks the gland. It can cause a sometimes painful swelling of the thyroid gland and influence hormonal changes that may affect your metabolism, heart rate, and blood pressure. Thyroiditis can also lead to uncomfortable nodules in your throat or be acute. So how do you treat this type of thyroid problem when the cause can be so varied? Well, it's common for doctors to prescribe antibiotics and other medication to help relieve the pain and inflammation caused by thyroiditis. That said, as thyroiditis is primarily linked to inflammation, consuming plenty of antioxidants like vitamin A can support your recovery. A 2012 report observed the thyroid reaction of 84 premenopausal obese and healthy women. For four months, the healthy women and a randomly selected group of obese women received vitamin A. The rest consumed a placebo. After measuring TSH, T3, and T4 in all participants, researchers observed that vitamin A significantly reduced both TSH and T4 serum concentration and increased T3. Noting that vitamin A may reduce the risk of hypothyroidism in premenopausal women. So don't miss the benefits of a healthy diet if you're struggling with thyroiditis. In fact, food can also help these next two thyroid problems. But before we dive in, are you ready for a free gift? Discover incredible foods with our free book, 25 Energy Boosting Superfoods for Women. Here you'll find out little known foods and energy boosting tips that are highly beneficial to your weight, sleep, energy, and mood. We hope you gain great value from it. Simply click in the link in the description below to claim your free gift. And now let's resume our list of thyroid problems with number two, goiter. Although less common than other types of thyroid problems, goiter refers to an irregular growth of the thyroid gland. A normal thyroid gland is about 4.0 to 6.0 centimeters wide in adults. However, goiters can inflate the gland by three times its size, making it uncomfortable in the throat and in some cases dangerous. But what causes goiter? Well, goiter has been linked with important iodine deficiency. A recent study found that low selenium and UIC levels may contribute to the development of anxiety, depression, and independent of thyroid functions in patients with goiter. When the thyroid experiences goiter, the only noticeable symptom will be a swell in the neck. However, goiter can be the result of another thyroid issue like hypothyroidism. Apples, pears, plums, and citrus fruits have a lot of pectins, which help the body to get rid of mercury, one of the most important metals linked to thyroid problems. While foods alone can't fix thyroid problems, a combination of nutrients and medicines can help restore thyroid function and reduce symptoms. Also, taking care of our gut is crucial to beat this disease. The gut helps to keep the thyroid healthy and keeps inflammation in check. So thyroid conditions and symptoms can be lessened by eating superfoods that are high in nutrients like antioxidants and fiber that are good for your gut health. Moving on to number one, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is one of the most common forms of thyroiditis. Considered as an autoimmune disease, the thyroid problem refers to the immune system attacking the thyroid gland. Hashimoto thyroiditis can be quite complex as its symptoms can be linked to hypothyroidism as it causes many vitamins and mineral deficiencies but can also be linked to hyperthyroidism. As the immune system destroys too much of the gland, more hormones T3 and T4 are produced to keep up. It's estimated that for every 1,000 women worldwide, there are 3.5 cases of Hashimoto thyroiditis. So while it isn't the most common thyroid problem, it is definitely one to be wary of, as it will require long-term treatments, 
hormone replacement therapy, and lifestyle changes. Overall, thyroid problems can be quite alarming, and it's best to seek medical help to determine a condition and its appropriate treatment. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in iodine and selenium can help alleviate symptoms. And now we want to hear from you. Have you been diagnosed with a thyroid problem? Help the women's wellness community by sharing your thoughts and experience in the comments below. And before you go, remember to like this video, subscribe, and hit the alert bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Plus, don't forget to download your free gift, 25 Energy Boosting Superfoods for Women, by clicking the link in the description below. Have a healthy and happy day.